Hello YouTube, this is Fala Mango today doing a little colour correction on a program called GIMP. Now this is for you guys out there wondering how to colour correct your blue hazy photos. Now the photos are, the photo I've got here is a perfect example of a landscape that's just hazy and it's got this horrible blue tint. It is a very good photograph, it's a beautiful photograph of uh, the Cairngorms in Scotland. But as you can see, it's got this, uh, the sun is just, just off screen on the right. And it's hazy and it's, it's, you can see how, as the, um, is the, you can see through the dense, density of the air, it becomes blue. Now to get rid of this on GIMP, um, first what we need to do, we get the photo, upload it, and we right click and we duplicate the layer. Then once we've done that, we go to colours and curves. What curves does, we need can adjust the contrast and adjust some of the visual elements to bring out the, the colour that I saw on the day. So if we play around, we can just play around with the, um, obviously this is the Y axis and if you can do a little invert if you want, which is ridiculous. Um, so if you can see here, this is where all the shadows are. So I'm going to take, probably take that to there, take that in, and then take this in as well, and we'll see. That's brilliant. That's much better. That's much more of an improvement. We can see the darker tones are highlighted, and we can see the shadows. So if we go to back to the original, we can see that some of the shadows are a lot less prominent. So if we bring this in to about here. I think we've brought this in already to that here as well and it looks the landscape looks more natural once we've done the channel value we can now go to red I'm going to adjust some of the red obviously this has an extreme red and obviously this takes away the red to give more of a blue effect now to bring more color out of this we're going to push this channel up to here and we're just in this experiment I'm going to see what this does we're going to bring some of the red up, as we can see the red is a bit more extreme now. And we can adjust, we can take that red back down in the green channel. So if we go push up the green there, we can see that the green is a bit more extreme. And you can see the foreground, this foreground hill is a lot more green. Uh, if we go to the blue, this is where the blue is being taken away now. Obviously, it's a lot less blue now. We can start to take away some of this blue. Let's see what that does. And it's a lot more clear. That's beautiful. We can see the landscape is a lot more less blue. Now, if we go back to the value channel, we can achieve, we can change some of the the we can darken the 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 shadows and highlight the the um, highlights by making an S shape and what that does that brings out more of a colour but if you can see here there's a, it's a bit unreal looks a bit fake this hill here looks a bit like it's been photoshopped in okay I'll press OK and let's see overall let's see what that does looks a lot more natural now we can probably can, now we can see a lot more prominent shadows and highlights and if you want to do it any more you can go to colours and you can change the contrast right from there which obviously makes it a bit fake and a bit yes this foreground hill is looks a bit so we can adjust that I'd say maybe about an 8 it's about right we can adjust the saturation as well but the main experimentation was with curves and changing the uh, changing, changing the, um, the the channel values in there Okay, and that's all. Thanks for watching. It's been Fala Mango Shinta here doing colour correction on GIMP. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.